back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Marta and I'm so happy to have you here today I'm only gonna be showing you how I did these eyeshadows right here these are my favorite tones to use like brown gold like it looks it, I feel like it looks so good with any clothes but like with gold and the brown and it's just like I feel so cute right now but just from the waist up because I'm wearing my uh, workout pants still since I worked out earlier but don't worry I'm gonna take a shower after this I'm looking so weird right now but look at like what you guys see is cute right I like it anyways I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks on how you can do these eyeshadows so you can easily recreate them um, if you're a beginner I hope this tutorial is helpful and I hope you guys like this look if you do please leave a lot of brown heart emojis in the comments below me before we move on and now let's get started. So of course you want to start off with a primer for the eyeshadows. Today I'm going to be using this concealer from LA Girl. And you can see that it's a sh a lighter than my skin tone. Um, you can use it like a shade or two or three, you know, shades lighter than your skin tone. Uh, just make sure it's blended out really good on the eyelid all the way up to your brow bone. And you can see that with this concealer it covered up the darkness and the redness. And sometimes you can see the little veins on my eyelids but everything's covered up really good and the tone is even perfect for the eyeshadows and of course for these eyeshadows I need the tape on the outer part of my eye this is something that's going to help you a lot it's 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 really important for these eyeshadows it's gonna help create that outer part of the eyeshadow so you do not skip this step and today I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Norvina Volume 1. And I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here using this little sponge. These I bought these uh, at uh, Target, but you can buy these at like any pharmacy stores or Walmart, you know. Um, and this applies the shimmery eyeshadow really, really nice. It does help if you apply it on top of the creamy eyeshadow, which is why I didn't set it with a powder. Because the eyeshadow like really grabs onto the, the, the concealer and it helps it just like to stick and grab on all day and night that way it's not moving and the shimmers the pigmentation of the eyeshadow uh, really stand out a lot more applying it on top of the cream and concealer so that's why I didn't set it and I'm just applying it all over the eyelid just a little bit higher uh, than the crease but not too much and I'm not going to extend it towards the tail of the eyebrow yet I'm just gonna leave it on the eyelid then I'm going to be using this bronzer from Makeup Geek. You can grab your bronzer, any light brown shade. It obviously can be an eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use this to blunt out the shimmery eyeshadow. It's just so, so it's not empty right there. And just so the shimmery eyeshadow is blended out on top of an eyeshadow, you know? So it just gives it a different look and it looks really nice so if you want this makeup to be a bit more dramatic then use a darker brown and now I'll be extending it towards the tail of the eyebrow you want it to look blended out like you want it to go towards the tail of the eyebrow but not very noticeable like you can see it's not that noticeable but you can see the color right there you know it just like fades out really nice to do that you just apply it on the outer part of your eye like you want most of the product to go there and then whatever is left on the brush you pretty much drag that towards the tail of the eyebrow so you you don't want to start by extending it a lot by applying too much product like already in that area you know to make it look nice and faded out you just don't need to have a lot of product on the brush just drag whatever's left on the outer corner of your eye towards the tail of the eyebrow then I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow right here. This time I'm using a smaller brush. This one comes in the Rimmel eyeshadow palette and I'm going to do pretty much like an eyeliner. Uh, so I'm gonna start on the outer corner of the eye and then slowly start uh, extending it towards the tail of the eyebrow and also towards the center of, of the eyelid. But I just want it right above the, the eyelashes. Um, I'm not going to apply anything on the inner part. I'm gonna keep it just on the outer part of my eyelid. And then I want it to be blended out so I don't want the I don't want it to look like an eyeliner eyeliner you know so it has to be blended out and then it depends how dramatic you want the makeup to be if you want it a bit darker then obviously just keep adding more layers or extend it more towards the tail of the eyebrow but I'm just keeping it in this area right here and you can see right here how it doesn't look blended out really good now I'm gonna grab the profusion brush again it's the one I use to apply the bronzer but without grabbing more bronzer I don't have anything like I didn't grab any more product on the brush just whatever was left on the brush I'm gonna use that to blend out 
that area right there. That way the, the eyeshadow blends out in that same area. If I keep using the same small brush from Rimmel, the eyeshadow might like move higher, like it'll get darker, Or but I just want it right there. So pretty much to make that line disappear, I use the brush from Profusion. And that's something I like to do when I'm blending out eyeshadow. Sometimes I just go back and forth with brushes like that, but just make sure you don't have too much product on the brushes when you're blending out the eyeshadows. Then I'm gonna grab the black eyeshadow and using this very flat brush from Anastasia, I'm gonna start doing the eyeliner. Now you can see that it's a lot smaller than the eyeshadow I just applied. And it, But I'm also starting on the outer corner of the eye with something, I'm starting with something small and again, just building it up. If you want it darker, thicker, you wanna extend it more, just keep adding more layers. But always make sure you start with something small, especially when you're working with black or like just dark eyeshadows. You always want to start with something small. And so yeah, I'm just keep extending it more, like keep adding more of the eyeshadows. And then when I'm extending it towards the tail of the eyebrow, I go as close to the tape as I can, just something really small. That way the, the tail can be like something thin. And then closer to the eyelid, I want it just a bit thicker. Now I'm going to apply the black eyeshadow on the lower lash line. I'm using again the very the flat brush from Anastasia because I just want to apply these uh, apply this eyeshadow right under the roots of my eyelashes. Like I want it to be like I don't want it to be too thick. So that's why I'm using this thin brush and I'm just applying it like if it were an eyeliner kind of. Then again with this little sponge, I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here just on the very tip and I'm going to apply this on the waterline. This is just to give it a different look, you know, instead of going with a black eyeliner and I don't want to leave that area empty right there. It's just, it, I feel like it looks really nice with this eyeshadow on the waterline. And the last step to complete this look is the mascara. I'm using the Anastasia Lash Sculpt Mascara. I'm just applying one layer. For the lips, I just decided to go with a nude lipstick and I used this one from Anastasia. This one is in the shade Warm Taupe, but you can really use any color because the, the eyeshadows go with any color lipstick you want. Um, but I, like I said, I really love the eyeshadows, like these tones with brown, like the gold and the brown, and it just looks so cute. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you did like it, please share this video with your friends and your family. Let me know in the comments below what you think and what other videos like or like makeup colors you want me to do for my next videos. And I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!